All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over how we can deploy our React Native Web application to Netlify. So this is the website. And to start off, we're gonna be making three changes to the project for the purposes of getting this to work to deploy. The first is in our common package. In the package.json, we wanna add a script called post install. So this is a special NPM script. Uh, that gets run after someone does a yarn install or an npm install. So basically what happens is when the yarn install is going to get run, it's also going to build the project. Uh, in this case, it's just going to generate the dist folder. So whenever this project is installed, the dist folder for common is going to be created. And the reason we want this is because we're going to be building the application on Netlify and it's going to need to be able to access this dist folder. So it needs to be built. Uh, so that's how we're going to trigger it. Secondly, we're going to go to our web package and we're going to be running the build command and we need to add the cross env skip preflight check to the beginning of it to get it to work similar to how we did it for the beginning of start here. Uh, and the build command basically what that does is it's going to take our react application here and it's going to spit out a a build folder with the basically compiled code or transpiled code that's minified and all that fun stuff. And then lastly, to get our routing to work on Netlify, since we are using React Router, in the public folder of our web package, we're gonna have to create a special file called underscore redirects. So this is something that works with Netlify. And basically we're saying uh, any time someone goes to a path, we want to redirect them to the index.html file. Basically all this does is it says, allow React Router to do routing for us. All right, so those three. Th after you make those three changes, I went ahead and committed the code, um, and then I pushed it up to GitHub. Now, the branch that I'm working on, I called it prod. Let's just clear that. So I called it prod, and I committed and pushed it up to this prod branch. Now, I said we're going to deploy to Netlify. I went ahead and I already created a Netlify account. I have a Netlify project that I created. You're going to want to do the same thing. I connected my GitHub repository, but you could do GitLab if you wanted to as well. After that, I chose the repository that I want to link it to, because basically what we're setting up here is whenever you push to the GitHub or GitLab repo, it's going to grab that code from Netlify, or Netlify is going to grab that code, it is going to uh, build it, and then it's going to deploy it. And then after you pick your repository, it's going to ask you for some build options. So these are the build options that you're going to want to do. Your build command is going to be the following. So basically, we're just going to run npm run build inside of the uh, web package. So you just cd into the web package, and then you run npm run build. And then here, we're just specifying the directory where our compiled code is going to be, or the uh, once it's built. In our case, it's going to be in packages slash web slash build. Now, another important thing is... Uh, I went ahead and just said the latest version of yarn as a build uh, variable. So uh, I said yarn underscore version 1.13. And basically what this does is it tells Netlify to use this version of yarn. Uh, I just make sure to do that so it doesn't have any problem with the yarn workspaces. And I just grabbed that version off of the latest one that I have on my computer. All right, so after I did that, basically the site deploys. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You can go to the poise log. You can see the the ones that hopefully published. My first try, it failed. Um, but you can see the logs. If you have any problems, you can go and see what error you have. And uh, you can try fixing it. But after that, it's going to deploy your site. You can even give your site a name and set it to HTTPS if you want to. Uh, I can see my site here. Uh, React Native Web Workout is what I named it. Uh, so this is live in production. Anyone can access this, so if you want to, you can come access it too. And the data is all stored in local storage, so everyone's going to get a different version. Uh, and we can now do our workouts and whatnot and save them. Anyway, that is how you deploy it to Netlify uh, with React Native Web. You'll notice it's not too much different from a React project. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same. The only difference is really stuff to deal with uh, React Router and Yarn Workspaces. Now, I also mentioned that I'd check out the app. And uh, I spent about an hour trying to get it working, but I just ran into basically the same Simlink problem and just having problems with the dependencies. I'm not really sure the best way to set it up since we did React Native CLI. I'm not really familiar with how to get Yarn Workspaces working well with it. I've always used Expo before, 
Uh, so instead of just trying a ton more and more workarounds, I was kind of getting tired of trying it, um, especially because I saw that Facebook has uh, made a little announcement about how they're going to tackle the Simlinks problem and estimate about a month away. Uh, so this issue was created two days ago, it looks like. Um, so about a month from now, Simlinks should be working. So I was like, I don't even feel like trying to get Simlinks workarounds. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, forget about it and wait a month until this is complete. Anyway, if this video is, uh, if you're watching this like a month from now, check the date. Simlinks may be working and you can try out the app um, using that. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. We got the web version of it up and running, so I'm happy with that. And this is the one that I wanted to see the most anyway. Anyway, that is the end of this workout series. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.